Greetings and welcome back to the lesson. Today we are going to study the establishment and the role of uh, PPP Project Facilitation Fund. This is the last subtopic under the topic uh, Public-Private Partnerships Arrangements. Now the PPP Project Facilitation Fund is established under Section 68 of the PPP Act. And this fund is, uh, as I've said, known as the Public-Private um, Project Fund, all right? established under Section 68 of the PPP Act. It is a PPP Project Facilitation Fund. PPP Project Facilitation Fund. Now, what are the monies that are paid into this fund? The first item is uh, the grants. Grants. Grants are paid into this uh, project facilitation fund. We have donations. Donations are paid into the PPP project facilitation fund. There are also levies. Levies are paid into this fund. Tariffs. Tariffs are paid into the project um, facilitation uh, fund. These are such levies and tariffs as may be imposed on a project. Success fees should be paid into this uh, facilitation fund. This is a success fees paid by a project company to the unit, all right, to the PPP unit, success fees. Other than success fees, levies, tariffs, grants, and uh, donations paid into this uh, project facilitation fund is what we call appropriations in aid appropriations in aid, appropriations in aid, and also uh, monies from source approved by the unit, uh, right? Monies from source, from a, any money from a source that is approved by the PPP or to be paid into the PPP project facilitation uh, fund. Monies from sources approved by the PPP, by the PPP unit. So section 68 of the uh, PPP Act establishes a fund known as a PPP Project Facilitation Fund. And into this fund are paid grants and donations, levies and tariffs, success fees, appropriations in aid, monies from sources approved by the PPP unit monies received from sources approved by the PPP unit. Do you understand? That sh should be clear. Now, another question we need to answer is, 
How is this fund utilized after payment or after the fund receives all this money? How is the money to be utilized? Because this is money that is paid into the account. How is that money spent? Now, the money received into this fund, the fund, let me say the fund is applied as follows. How is the fund applied? The first way is supporting contracting authorities in the preparation of uh, in the preparation force uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a preparation phase um, of a project supporting contracting authorities in the preparation phase of a project preparation phase of a project. During the preparation phase of a project, this fund can be used to pay monies to support contracting authorities. Two, this fund is also applied in supporting activities activities of the unit. Earlier on, we highlighted very many functions that uh, um, or, 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 or we, we highlighted more than 15 functions of the PPP unit. Now, those functions are supported by the PPP project facilitation fund. For the activities we outlined to be carried out, money is needed. And that money comes from the PPP project facilitation fund. Three, to extend viability to extend the viability gap finance uh, to projects that are desirable but cannot be implemented in the absence of financial support from the government. So another way in which this fund is applied is to extend viability gap finance to each projects, to projects that are desirable but cannot be implemented in the absence of financial support from the government. This fund is also a source of liquidity. The fund is a source of liquidity to meet any contingent liabilities arising from a project. And lastly, the fund is applied on, or we can say is applied to settle the transaction, uh, transaction advisor's retainer fees. Retainer fees. The, first can, the fund can be applied on retainer uh, to pay for it, uh, advisor's retainer fees. So these are five ways in which the project facilitation fund is applied. In the first instance, we've outlined the sources of uh, uh, the fund, grants, donations, levies, tariffs, success fees, appropriations in aid, and the money uh, received from sources approved by the PPP unit. Then lastly, we have highlighted the um, uh, the use of the fund, we've said that number one, uh, money from the fund can be used in the preparation phase of a project. It can be used also, we can say, in the tendering process 
the tendering process. The money can also be used in the uh, project appraisal. These are projects under the Public-Private Partnerships Act. Money can also be used to support activities of the PPP unit. There is also extending viability gap finances to projects that are desirable but cannot be implemented by um, cannot be implemented without the support of the government. This money is also a source of liquidity. It's a source of liquidity to meet any contingent liabilities arising from a project. The money can also be used to settle the transaction retainers, uh, transaction advisors retainer fees. And these fund candidates, uh, according to the Act, Section 68, the fund should be administered in such a manner as the Cabinet Secretary prescribes. So that is all we can say as far as the establishment and role of the PPP Project Facilitation Fund is concerned. Thank you. I uh, hope to meet you in another lesson where we continue to share knowledge in public finance and taxation. Bye.